What's up guys? We are back with another Ghostbusters review, taking a look at probably the only other figure that I'm going to be getting early out of this original first wave of Plasma Series figures. We're taking a look at Ray Stance today. So we've got him here in the same kind of package that we saw with Winston. So it's done up in a jumpsuit motif. You've got the Ghostbusters logo running down the side. You get his name patch down there on the bottom. And then the side of the box has some stylized artwork of all four of the Ghostbusters. And then the back of the box it's very much like a Marvel Legends where it's got a bio, a Build-A-Figure layout, and then you've got the lineup for the wave. So let's do it. Let's pull them out and take a look. And here he is out of the package, our Ray Stance figure. So our Dan Aykroyd figure. And this is one that I was actually really looking forward to because I was curious about the head sculpt and the photo printing in particular on this guy because at times it looked kind of weird in some of the original uh, photos that I'd seen. But I can thankfully say that this thing looks really good. We, of course, still have kind of the same, I guess, concerns when it comes to size and accessories that I have with Winston, but I still think we've got the makings of a pretty good, if not self-contained, line here. So let's see what this guy can do, see how he moves around. He is almost the same figure as Winston, and we'll touch on that here in a minute, but he does move exactly the same way, although he actually seems to move a little bit better, at least this particular figure. The head is not nearly as restricted on this figure as it is on my Winston, and maybe it's just my particular figure that's kind of giving me trouble. Uh, I'm not so sure yet. So the head can look up a little bit, he can look down a little bit, he has a decent amount of tilt, which Winston really didn't, and then you've got full rotation there. You've got arms that go out at the shoulders, they of course rotate, you do have have your butterfly joint in there, which does help a little bit. Bicep swivel. We've got double jointed elbows, of course. And then you've got your vertical hinges and rotation on those wrists. He's got the uh, ball jointed waist here, so he goes backwards. He goes forwards less than Winston for a reason that I will speak about in a moment. Side to side tilt, and then he's got full rotation, of course. Legs go out pretty far, further than Dan Aykroyd's going to split, I'm sure. Kick forward, kick backwards really far. And then you've got your thigh cut. We've got double jointed knees. There we go. And then you've also, of course, got your rocker and you've got your hinges. And when I was talking about the Winston figure in that original first review, I kept equating these to Marvel Legends, because that's the first thing that always came to mind, is that they're making Ghostbusters Legends. These really seem like these are Black Series figures in their articulation scheme, and just the overall style going on here. These really seem more like Black Series, which makes a little bit more sense now in some of the weird stuff that's going on than they do about Marvel Legends, because of, you know, like this joint here in particular, really makes me think of a Black Series figure. So, he does move pretty well. He's exactly the same in terms of scheme and construction as Winston, but his head does move around a little bit better. Now, when it comes to the overall look and feel, of course, this guy is very, very, very similar to Winston. Because, well, why wouldn't they? In real life, all four Ghostbusters are almost exactly the same height, so they can be the same height in the figure realm and everything's kind of okay. What's interesting, though, is that they aren't exactly the same figure. I thought there was just going to be some retooling going on for certain things, but in fact, there is one large different piece here. So, of course, you know, you've got the same kind of jumpsuit kind of situation going on. You've got the elbow pads with the gray on the insides there. You've got the tampoed Ghostbusters logo there. You've got his name tag on his shirt or on the outside of the, the jacket with his with his name there. We do have a different belt this time around, and I'm still not sure what's actually supposed to be used for Winston's peg hole on his belt. I don't know what goes there, uh, but Ray has goggles, and he's got a hook. Where Winston has the peg hole, Ray has a hook, so you've got that. It's the same belt otherwise, but it's got the hook there. You've got the cord that runs from the pants to the back of the belt, and that yellow cord, and then he's just got the uh, the cargo pants kind of situation going on with the very shiny black boots, shiny black gloves, and all that kind of stuff. No real wash on them or anything, so they're all still very much new. I am curious to see what maybe a light brown wash does on these. I'm not sure I'm going to do it to my figures but I'm curious to see what it looks like. However, what is different about this guy? So, he has a different torso. I thought that it was just going to be a slight retooling of the name tag area, but it's an entirely different buck here. Uh, it's very similar, but the collars are different, and he has a bit of a belly on him too, which presents one bit of an issue uh, when we get to accessories, slightly. So he's got a, a slightly more rotund stomach than Winston does. It's not much, 
it's just barely enough. You know, if you aren't paying attention, you probably won't notice it, but it is definitely different. Uh, some of the stitching is different, and then it's mostly the collar that really tipped me off. Uh, the collar on Winston's is more like pushed out, whereas Ray's is a little bit more flattened. So a minor change, but it definitely will set them apart if you're kind of examining them close enough anyway. That small difference aside, though, of course, the face, the head sculpt is the biggest difference between the two. And I gotta say, I think this head sculpt looks a lot better than I expected it to. For some reason, I originally thought some of the initial photos made it look kind of wonky, but this definitely looks like a young Dan Aykroyd to me. Uh, it does have pretty solid use of photo printing. Eyes are really crisp and clean. The lips look really good. There's a gentle shading on the face too to kind of make it stand out from just the normal molded plastic. And then the hair is really well done too. I mean, this definitely jumps out at me as a as a young Dan Aykroyd. I couldn't I couldn't see much else in it. It's not like uh, you know, it's, it's not like I'm seeing a different generic white man in this head sculpt. It definitely looks like him to me. Details are really there. It's, it's, it's pretty spot on. I'm, I'm impressed with how close this seems to be. And then because I have to do it just based on the current status of things with this line, we've got to talk about scaling uh, just with this guy again, because some other folks had asked for a few different types of figures, maybe within the same lines, but just different types of figures. So here he is next to a, uh, a Black Series Trooper. So not, uh, not the same Trooper that I used last time. That was... Uh, Clone Commander Bly. So here's the Mountain Trooper. And then here he is next to a Power Rangers Lightning Collection figure. So you can see that both of them, both of them here are taller than Ray, although the Mountain Trooper is a little bit more consistent. This Beast Morphers Blue Ranger, though, is a good half head taller, which definitely is not in scale, at least if you're trying to mix lines. This is the thing that kind of uh, tipped me off after the fact. When I was doing that Winston interview, I kind of did this after the fact, is throwing him next to a female Marvel Legends. So here he is next to next to Dazzler here, and you can see that she just towers over him. So she's not supposed to be that tall. Ray's not supposed to be this short. So again, if you're trying to mix lines, you're definitely gonna have some issues. If you're like me and it doesn't necessarily matter too much, then you could probably have skipped over this section. Now, as far as accessories goes, this is where a departure occurs for each figure. And I mentioned this in the Winston review. So Winston came with the effect piece for the Proton Stream and this is a great effect piece. It's a great accessory. You and I both want four of these for our four Ghostbusters, but Hasbro decided that they're not going to do that for this release for whatever reason, and only Winston comes with that. So each other, each figure comes with its own unique accessory. Ray gets the goggles here, and they do look pretty good. I mean, compared to the effect piece, they're not nearly as exciting for me, but they, they do fit the character, and they fit the idea of giving, you know, something unique to each figure, at least for now. Hopefully they'll do something for this later down the road. And these fit really snugly over his uh, over his head they do you can pop them on just fine and they can sit on top of his head or they can sit over his actual you know his eyes there and you do have you know like I mentioned before you do have the hook on his belt when they kind of go this way to have them hang off of his waist rather than just you know have them in a drawer somewhere or lose them like I probably would or have them always on his head so you do have that option so we've got this guy there and then you've of course got your proton pack and this is the same thing that comes with Winston the well, all four of them obviously come with it great sculpt great paint on this thing you know again I don't know if there's anything missing or anything weird or wrong here it looks like a proton pack for me you've got the uh, the wand here that pegs into into the back here and then you've got the cable that runs the length and then of course he can hold it single-handedly they can hold it two-handed pretty well no real issues there my one real interesting gripe about this though is coming back to the fact that I realized that these are not all using the same torso piece Ray is a little bit more portly than Winston and because of that putting the pack on him is a real pain he he has too much of a gut as little as little extra plastic is really there he has just enough to stress the plastic and make it hard at the uh, the actual peg here it's 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 on and it's not going anywhere but it was definitely not nearly as easy as Winston for me. I was able to pop that bad boy on and I was done. But with Ray here, it was much more of a struggle to get it on. Frankly, I don't want to take it off at this point. Not that I really will. But it's definitely something to keep in mind and just kind of watch out when you're doing it. I imagine, I imagine he might be the one that has the most trouble, but that remains to be seen since these are the only two I have. So yeah, this guy's pretty good, just like Winston is pretty good. There is still some stuff going on with this line that is confusing, weird, and just kind of odd when it comes to Hasbro stuff. I do think 
that Ray moves for me a little bit better than Winston does, especially at the head, which works really well just in a general sense. Sculpt is still good. The overall look is definitely there. The likeness on this young Dan Aykroyd head is pretty fantastic, and photo printing works really well here. I, I think he looks uh, honestly a little bit better than I expected him to. I do, of course, come back again and again to the fact that these guys don't scale with other lines, which isn't the hugest deal for me, but I know based on my Winston review that it is a big deal for at least some people, and I know it's bothering some folks to find out that they aren't exactly the same size as we expected. I do, of course, wish that he also came with an effect piece, but I'm also hopeful that Hasbro's going to do something about that down the road. So that's going to do it for this look at the Ghostbusters Plasma Series Ray Stance figure. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and until next time.